Hello everyone and welcome back to another book review. I hope the weather is as good where you are as it is here. It is very sunny. I am in a very good mood and it's warm again. So today I am wearing my Baby Yoda earrings. I don't know if you can see that. I have my Star Wars t-shirt on and I'm ready to review some Star Wars. This is volume three of Dr. Aphra and this one is called Remastered. This was obviously the third installation in the Dr. Aphra series, which I've been really enjoying, and I gave it a read and I liked it. So as we can see just from the cover, we get a hint on who the bad guy might be. So in the last book, or in the last volume, Dr. Aphra was trying to sell this ancient Jedi artifact or, or a consciousness of a Jedi that was frozen in some sort of artifact, and things went wrong, as they do. And she wound up having to release triple zero and then the astromech, which I believe is BT, from their restraining protocols, which is something that was kind of lightly touched on before, but not really delved in with detail. So Dr. Afra had some sort of restraining protocol on these. And I don't know if that's discussed in a previous comic series where we see her or if we were just not supposed to know that so she releases them and they kind of go off and do their own thing however that's kind of bad because as we see from the cover bt with his little red glowing eyes or not bt sorry this is triple zero triple zero with his little red glowing eyes is kind of an evil mastermind and he has set up a criminal syndicate and who has he blackmailed into helping none other helping him none other than dr afra so dr afra is now at the mercy kind of of the droid that she previously was in charge of and she's probably regretting her choice of releasing him from his restraining protocols she has been sent on a mission in this one and she's doing work for the evil droid but it's her, so she's always gonna kind of do things on the side and kind of maybe mess around where she can or do the things we can. So in this book, one of the big developments is kind of a love sequence. There is a character in a per love interest, I should say. There is a character in a previous book or a previous comic series that we see before, and there was maybe like a hint or like a little flirtatious feeler put out by Dr. Aphra. However, I was under the assumption, and we're kind of told Dr. Aphra's kind of like playing it loose with the girl. She just kind of does what she wants to do. So I didn't really take it as much. I just figured, well, she's flirting with this person because it's kind of her whole personality. However, in this one, it kind of develops a little bit more and I'm going to leave it to you to discover who that person is. But this Besides that return of that one character we saw from a previous book, which kind of develops this love interest, which is going on the side of the main quest, which is this thing that she's having to do for BT, we also get the return of a character. If you saw the Rebels series, now I have to find it, Hera Syndulla. She is in this series, which I did not expect to see her coming. So that was really interesting. We got a return of this one. In this volume she's working with a mercenary crew so we get introduced to a lot of other characters and at this point I've actually already read volume four so some of the mercenary characters come back and all the mercenary characters I should say they did a really good job of making them unique instead of just making them okay this is meathead number one this is meathead number two this guy shoots this guy pummels and this girl has rocket launchers like they all have enough unique personality in the short amount of time that we see that they feel like unique people and I think that's very very interesting I think that was very well done and I like the cast of characters. I like that there was enough people that it felt interesting, but you didn't feel overwhelmed by the number of characters. You could kind of follow everyone and their individual personalities and how they contributed to the story uh, without losing focus of the main overarching thing that's going on, going on. And I also really enjoyed the love interest that's going on. So this was a three star read for me. Pretty good three star, very, very enjoyable. Like I already said, I've read volume four already. So I clearly am keeping reading this. And I think if you like Star Wars, you should definitely give Dr. Aphra a read. If you have any other Star Wars comics that you could recommend, or if you happen to know which Star Wars comic she is in previously, I think someone told me it was the Darth Vader series, Darth Vader comics, please let me know because I, I would be interested in reading them because I've been really enjoying following her adventures and misadventures around the galaxy. Other than that, everyone, I hope you have a great rest of your day.